hello guys welcome back to my channel so it's a brand new day again today so today i'll be going to the market there are some things that are happening in Asa, but that i really want to share with you people they are so scary so i really want to share it with you people i'm on my way to bogunogo market now because i have heard so many series so many things that they are saying in the markets so i want to go there and confirm for myself because there are some things that can be rumored but i want to confirm for myself i want to go to the market and ask some of the people about those stuff just come and let me show you and and listen to what the women or any person I'm, I'm, i see in the market is going to say about all these things just come you know what i'm talking about when we get there let's go there because it's really very important for you to know what is happening in Asa. But in case you come here, you know what to do anytime you are in the market. Bogonogo market, that's what I'm, yeah, I'm talking about. So let's go. <laughs> Market. As I told you, I'm here to give you people some vital information about the Bogonogo market. So let's go. Hey, hey. hey Madam Dale. This shop is going to explain more and she's going to tell us why they don't sell Obono here in the market and the reasons. Now I'm also going to go to where they sell fish. I'm going to ask a woman there why is that they don't cut ice fish in this market and why they don't carry things on both hands on their market days. So stay tuned if you are just joining us. This is the Gibson family. And this is Mama Ejima. Remember to like our video, share our video, subscribe to our channel. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We still have more for you. Here. So we have to take this place down. We are taking it down step by step so that will not fall. So guys, if you are just joining us, subscribe to our channel, share our video, like our video, comment. Stay tuned. As I'm going there now. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to buy fish from the woman. So that's how it's going to start. I've not been to this side of this market before. This market is big. Eh? Fucking big. Look at the way I'm panting. The market is a big place. Up and down. The slope. You move up. That's the river there. So let's go. And get to the fish. 
This is from my brother. Sir, you can move back from now. I don't know. What should I say? This is a fish I want to get. It's very small, this fish. I'm buying from this woman. That's a big one. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. I have big one. Big, big one. This one is so small. I'm buying from her because coming from that side, I saw her smiling and I love people smiling. <laughs> As I'm buying from her, how much is she? 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 How much is I'm more of a fan of my band. For somebody buy fish after buying fish, after price, not take fish. Let the woman not cut fish. Not let the sister look at you again. Let the woman call and buy fish. Don't give me money for my fish. Don't let them give me money. Let the woman call and buy fish. Don't let them give me money. Let the woman call and buy fish. Don't let them give me money. Let the woman call and buy fish. Don't let them give me money. Let the woman call and buy fish. Don't let them give me money. Let the woman call and buy fish. So I'm going to give her the money for giving me time. It's not easy. As you can see, she's smiling. Madam, you go sell my kettle with me. I just wanted that information. I'm not buying fish. I know your face. I'll come again with the surprise. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. So guys, you just heard what she just said. We are going over to where the other, other lady is going to give us the information on why they don't sell a bottle or why they don't carry the load with their hand, with both hands. So let's go, don't get tired. Yes, we are waiting for you, uh, madam. Patiently. Hey. Oh, no, the phone is fine, and he can oh, give a better part. Uh, thank, thank you. How long have you been in this Bogunugo market? How long have you been working or selling here? How do I will beat you? Um, this is a year, seven months now. I have been selling here, or you have been here before now? No, you've not been in this market before now. So, I want to ask you some questions, some very, very vital questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. I heard they don't sell Ogbono in this market. Can you tell us why they don't sell Ogbono in this market? No, according to them, they said that I am Asaba people don't like, they don't eat Ogbono. Like, it's a taboo for them. So, I don't know. Is it taboo? Yes, in Asaba. Okay. She just said that as about people, they don't eat Ogbono, they forbid Ogbono, that is a taboo. So, why is it that? Because I came to this market two weeks ago, I was carrying things with my both hands. One lady said I should take the load back to my wall, or I should look for wheelbarrow. I could not ask her why she said so, but she just said I should. She ran to me and said, Madam, Madam, 
remove the load from the other hand or if they catch you, you pay fine. Yeah, because Why? He, he, that day you came on the market day. Okay. Once you came on the market day and you hold load with your two hands, you pay. I'll pay. Yes. They don't have any reason for it. Because the market day, they are collecting money from people. They used to collect money on the market day. Okay. There's a borrow guy that used to collect money. Okay. So if you are holding your goods with your two, two hands, you will pay for it. Wow. <laughs> You've heard her. On a market day, if you carry loads with both hands, you will pay fine. But it is either you carry it with one hand or you look for a help, we buy you and push the load for you. That's what she just, she just said now. So you people heard everything she has said. This information is coming from Bogonogo Market, the big market in Asaba. That's where this information is coming from. If you are just coming, subscribe to our channel, share our video, like our video. Don't get tired of watching our video. We have a lot of videos for you. Stay tuned. We're still giving you more information today. <laughs> you've heard everything the market people have said so far these are the information you need to know when going to a particular market you don't know anything about the Bogonogo market now you've heard them of the reason why they don't cut fish and why they don't carry load with their both hands on the market day and also why they don't eat or bone because so many people have been asking why is it that Bogonogo market they don't eat or bone you've seen the reason why they don't eat or bone and why they don't cut fish it's very important that when you come to a particular market where you don't know there are rules and regulations you ask about things i've been in this town for some time and i really did not get this vital information about the Bogonogo market but today i've gotten the information and i'm going to abide by their law because when you are living in a particular place it's good for you to abide by the law if you want peace where you are staying so this information i just came from Bogonogo market i hope you people enjoyed the video subscribe to our channel share this video like our video subscribe to our video don't get tired and always give us a thumbs up in our video see you in our next video bye bye